All right, guys, we have an update on the Killer B situation. This is some information that I didn't have before, and I want to thank you guys so much because in the comment section below, you guys really helped me out. You guys told me a lot more information that I didn't have, and not only that, my homie Shino Bencho is a fellow YouTuber. I'm pretty sure you guys probably know about him. He actually hit me up, and he gave me some information as well. Now, the information that he told me was that during one kind of frame, during one frame when Killer B was actually fighting Momoshiki, you see a piece of his tail actually come off. If you guys remember back when Sasuke was actually fighting Killer B, when Sasuke was a part of the quote unquote Akatsuki, Sasuke actually fought Killer B and he actually took Killer B back to the Akatsuki lair to basically extract the eight tails. But the thing about that is that Killer B did a substitution jutsu. One of the octopus tails was cut off and he did a substitution jutsu with that. I'm pretty sure everybody here already knows the whole story, but there could possibly be a similar situation with that with this moment machine cheeky thing now here's the thing we've seen a part of the tail cut off but here's basically the confirming evidence that this might actually be killer b substitution jutsu when momoshiki was actually extracting the chakra from killer b momoshiki said that the chakra was weak this is kind of weird man because obviously killer b is an eight tail doesn't have weak chakra i think in terms of tail beast he probably has the second most to naruto and when momoshiki was basically extracting naruto's chakra momoshiki was overwhelmed like he was sitting there absorbing naruto's chakra for like 10 15 minutes and he barely even got over half of it so this right here is telling me that this substitution jutsu is pretty much i wouldn't necessarily say confirmed but this is very convincing to the people who feel like killer b is definitely not dead and also to the people who just really like killer b and hope that he's not dead now there's a couple things i have to say first of all i really think that if this is the case it might be a little bit repetitive i know a lot of people might slander it for this mainly because we've already seen this already we've seen killer b do the substitution jutsu back when he was basically defending himself against Sasuke as I said earlier a lot of people probably won't like it a lot of people might feel like it's just too repetitive the writers are not being creative they're, they're not being original they're just copying what Kishimoto did before in the past and I might agree with that a little bit but the thing is if they would have just left it as Killer B is just quote unquote not dead because in the last video I talked about this and I said you know during the end credits it showed that Killer B was still alive but during the end credits they didn't really give us any kind of explanation about how Killer B was still alive I feel like this right here is better than just saying, hey, Killer B's alive, but there's no explanation about that at all. So if this is the case, I would understand the slander that it will get, but I want to tell you guys, I'm very happy that they just didn't say nothing about this. Now, as I said, this is all allegedly, there could possibly be a separate second reason upon why killer b was still alive maybe he did a shadow clone jutsu i have no idea but the thing about this is kind of weird to me is mainly the fact that you know momoshiki is a sensory type ninja and kenshi they're both sensory ninja and it was kind of confusing to me but it was still confusing to me back during the sasuke thing mainly because kareem was also a sensory ninja and she really didn't sense the substitution jutsu with killer b and the octopus's tail either so I have no idea. I don't really call it a plot hole, but it's really just confusing to me. As I said, in my opinion, I feel like Killer B is not dead mainly because we've seen him in the ending of the movie. We've seen him basically alive, spitting up all the water that he fell into the actual pond with. And just because of that, I feel like he's not dead. But I do want to tell you guys, there is a serious possibility that he is dead. There's nothing really written in stone. Kishimoto didn't come out and say, hey, Killer B is still alive. Or the other writers like Ikimoto didn't come out and say, hey, Killer B is still alive. So they can actually do anything as of right now. The writer of Boruto are known to change a lot of things that they did right in the past in the movie and in the manga and we're seeing one of the biggest changes being Momoshiki's design as of right now another change that we've seen is Urushiki basically being inside of the anime a lot of changes could possibly be happening so they could possibly change Killer B they could possibly just kill him off we have no idea we won't really know until he's actually confirmed hopefully he will be confirmed I say in the next two to three episodes that's pretty much when the arc is going to be done but I want you guys to let me know what you guys think about this in the comment section below man do you guys think that killer b is dead do you guys think that he's not dead and if it is the outcome where killer b just did a substitution of jutsu with one of the octopus tails would you guys be upset would you guys call unoriginality would you guys say that ikimoto is not really as creative as kishimoto because he just copied kishimoto's thing but let me know what you guys think it's been your boy barbie and we out